where Lee train station is? You know? No, there's no, no train station. They, it used to, and they took it off us. They've not had one for over 30 years. It seems a bit ridiculous that a place as big as Lee doesn't They've have a no train station. We've got nothing yeah. here, only scruff. Scru only scruff? Scruff, look at it. Right. We, we, uh, like a pig hole. Turns out the station shut in 1969. Roughly 50,000 people live here, working mostly in retail or the public sector, and a higher proportion than the national average rely on benefits, even if they're working. This is a town like so many in the northwest, built on industry, on coal, and in cotton mills like this one. I don't think people in Leah currently get that opportunity to be equal because of, I think we are viewed as Northwest or here in Lee, it's something that's um, a second thought, basically. We're, not, uh, we're, we're living in a very deprived area, and I don't think that um, Liz Trust or the current government have got that focus for areas like this. So when she says she's committed to levelling up, how do you feel? I don't believe it at the moment. I'm constantly following and listening to what they're saying, and if what they're saying is something that they're going to follow through on, Previous experience tells me they haven't done that. They've talked a lot about it. Lee is one of the so-called red wall seats. Labour since 1922, it switched to the Conservatives in 2019, lured in by promises to get Brexit done and reduce regional inequality. Either Liz Truss or Rishi Sunak will have to successfully defend this seat if they're to have any sort of victory at the next general election with a decent majority. What's the number one priority for Liz Truss if she becomes Prime Minister? Well, the number one thing for Liz Truss is levelling up. I'm hearing the word and people are abandoning the word about, but we need to, it should have been done by now, personally. They're committed to it and they said they've been committed to it. She's part of a manifesto, she's committed to it, but we're still waiting here. I'm panicking. I mean, at the moment we're fine because we don't need the heating on, uh, but obviously the coffee machine does use quite a lot of electric, so you, you're trying to, you know, cut corners, which I don't want to do, because I love what we do. If they could give some help, now whether again it could be some extra financial help with our bills, that'll then not only help me as a family man, with my grandkids, etc., and, and my children, but also people have a little bit of money in the pocket to come and spend in my shop. The council says Lee has had no levelling up money and urgent help is needed. We are a predominantly hot studio, so energy costs and things like that. It would be a massive help if we got some kind of help with it or some kind of guidance with it. Cost of living's going up, uh, inflation and stuff like that, so obviously it's taking a hit on everyone's pocket. Just give us an idea, how much are your energy bills going up by? Well, already they've already doubled. Help, back, help us help everybody else. Like, that's what we're here for. We're trying to help everyone. We're trying to invest back into the community. We're trying to help people who are not just struggling physically, but mentally and things like that. What about all this levelling up stuff that they talk about on the TV, like the politicians? Oh, the, well, do you believe them? Yeah. Well, we don't. Paul Hawkins, GB News.